Okay, a year ago at this time, the only people who knew what you could do were the people who saw you in pickup. This year, you've got all the accolades. What's what's the feeling like knowing that maybe the eyes of the nation are kind of on you? Um, I don't look at it like that. Um, more of like a team player. I don't really look at myself like that. It's just the only man on the team. So uh, I just think that our whole team has pressure this year just trying to get back to the tournament. Is it nice to know at least, though, if you come in and do what you're supposed to do, you've got a starting spot as opposed to last year where everyone, everything was up for grabs. I mean, if you don't, unless you play awful, you're going to still be in that lineup. <laughs> yeah. You've got a role. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my role is kind of big this year uh, just by what I did last year. Um, as well as, you know, Solomon and Kevin have a big role this year too. Uh, some people didn't think they had a good year last year, but uh, there was bright spots in our, in our year last year. So I think that our role players have to, you know, do well, you know, even better what they did last year. So uh, that's a good, good spot. Just what, four guys, maybe five guys battling for time, uh, kind of down low, you included. How the battle's been? I mean, obviously, you mentioned Kevin and Solomon. You got yeah. Jesse and Jamel. Um, you know, maybe even one of the uh, you know two bigger guys. That's yeah. got, that's a lot of talent to contend with. You can't rest, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, you know, every practice is going to be big for us. Uh, last year, a lot of people said, you know, practice is off. Um, just a lot of complaining last year, and uh, I think that this year everybody wants to play. You know, our talent level is, is higher, so you know, of course, everybody's going to be fighting for a spot. Um, not like last year. You come in, obviously now you've had a full year in the conditioning program. I know uh, Miller uh, told Pound to, to get you guys a little bit more this summer. How do you feel? How much stronger are you? Are you more explosive? Yeah, uh, last year uh, I was like 245, so this year I'm 237. I lost, uh, I lost weight and uh, feel more explosive. Uh, I was like 30, 31 inch vert, now I'm like 34. So just you know, being in the weight room, especially like the leg press, stuff like that, and uh, our conditioning has helped out a lot too. I used to joke last year that it almost looked like you were a video game and you'd unlock a new move every couple <laughs> games. Are you still developing new moves? Is that something you consciously think, okay, I'm going to try this this time, or is that just I'm going out there and I'm reacting? Yeah, like in the beginning of the season, I don't show off uh, you know, every single move. Uh, like that's kind of how like Kobe plays. He's, he's more of a, you know, he doesn't show off his moves to the fourth quarter, and uh, I'm kind of like that, but you know, as the season goes on, I don't show everything in the first couple of games, so just wait till Pac-10 starts. Um, obviously, you're going to probably play four here, or mostly four. I don't know if you're looking for the next level, but obviously, you know, the fans do. You're probably a three at the next level. Do you work on some three things, even though you might not get to show them in yeah, the games, or is that just all for the future? Yeah, that's what I did, you know, this whole summer. I went home for a whole month and worked out about three of those, you know, four weeks, and uh, just shooting and dribbling and just trying to, you know, build my three game up, because over here I'm playing the four, but if I, you know, possibly go to the next level, then I'll be playing the three. So just, you know, just trying to get both, both, you know, spots in my game. Obviously last year this was Nick's team. Um, you know, you played well, but probably weren't the vocal leader now. You're a guy these guys are going to look at, maybe Momo's a guy that he's going to look at. Who are the leaders of this team, or have they developed yet, or do you have to wait until practice really starts to see? Yeah, uh, we picked as a team. It's, the leaders are you know, me, Momo, and, uh, and Fog. You know, we're all different type of leaders. I'm more of like a laid-back person. I don't really talk too much. Um, I show my leadership on the court and you know, how I play, and uh, Momo's more, his personality is more vocal. And, uh, more the yelling type, so uh, same with Fall. He's kind of like me. He just shows with his with his play. So I think that's good for our team that we all have different, you know, different leaderships on our team. Uh, which are there any of the young guys really turn your heads, or is there anyone who maybe has jumped up from last year doing more than you thought? Um, I say uh, DB Daniel. Uh, he's athletic. He's really athletic. Uh, he can shoot really well. That's the thing that's going to help us out a lot. You know, him and uh, Brendan Lavender shoot the ball really well. Same with Fall. But, you know, I think DB is, is shining the most at all, I think. Thank you.